Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Geyser, geyser in the building. You be saying my intro with me. Dewey soul in the building, man. Simple. Simple. Smooth skin soul in the building. Now check this out, man. I wanna to talk to y'all about parasites, the company that you keep around you. Now, first thing first, a lot of y'all gotta understand, man, I have dropped so many fucking videos, probably hundreds of videos on this channel. Most of the stuff that I talk about, it's like two, 3% of, of what I really know. I know damn near everything. I just like talking about stuff that you can relate to that you go through on your day-to-day -day basis. I told all y'all at the beginning of my spiritual awakening, all y'all that's been here, the chosen ones. A lot of y'all fuck with me for who I am as a person. You, 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 you enjoying seeing me improve to what I used to be. Of what I used to be, should I say. All of y'all know I got my main channel with over a million subscribers. I was a fucking bot on there. I was literally a bot. I was a sex addict. I was a lot of stuff that I'm about to talk about. A weed head, a party guy. I was just... The lowest version of myself. It all changed in literally months, man. In one of the videos that I dropped at the beginning of my spiritual awakening, I told you you don't need no friends because you got to understand when you, when you're going through this 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 journey of finding your best self, bro. Your best friends, the quote unquote who you think is your best friends, could be your biggest problem. And but what I want to tell y'all is, I told y'all at the beginning of my spiritual awakening, it's going to come a point in time you already going to know what I'm talking about. You don't even have to watch me no more. You can start just going, start starting your own channel, spread your own information, etc. You know what I'm saying? This is my journey. I'm just here for the chosen ones. I'm here for the people that's just like me, who see what I see, who experience what I'm experiencing. Obviously, it's going to be some people that don't know or experience, they ain't experiencing anything. I call them bots. I was once a bot. You got to understand what you are. It's okay. It's a temporary thing. As long as you keep watching me, you're going to keep raising your vibration. And if you don't like me and you keep watching me, that's on you. I mean, I still love you. I love you more than you love yourself. Even if you hate me, I still love you. Because you got to understand, you don't like me, but you're the only person that feel that hate within you. And I'm stealing your energy and putting it towards a new video, positivity for my channel every day. Almost every day. I got to return back to my main channel soon. I got to... My energy has been getting... I gotta. I, I just feel like it's something that I have to do. You know, take my mind off the matrix a little bit, have fun. But check this out, parasites. I wanna talk to you, I was having a conversation with some hoopers, I was hooping a little while ago. I wasn't hooping like that tough because, man, them niggas be hacking, I ain't gonna lie. Like when motherfuckers know it's a YouTuber in there, cause you gotta understand I'm a YouTuber and majority of my fan base on my main channel is younger guys. So when they see me hooping and shit, motherfuckers be pulling out their phone, playing hard as hell, trying to get video footage. So the Minati, you want a 1v1? Man, these niggas be hacking. But I'm a god on the court, though. But I was talking to them about paying attention to the people that they keep around you. So I want to talk about that. I want to continue talking about that right now. And all my videos be freestyle. I don't just be thinking, sitting at home, just thinking about shit. Like, this is not a fucking job, bro. This is just me venting. You know, speaking how I feel. This is not, this is not a job, bro. When you serve your purpose, your purpose shouldn't even feel like a job. Some people do do the spiritual shit for the money. It's nothing wrong with that, but you could tell when people doing it for the money instead of really trying to help people, you know? And um, let me tell y'all something. So number one, this is something that I was talking to them about. Number one, parasites. If you in the hood, understand you are becoming your own parasite by listening to hood music. I know that shit may sound bad. I talked about this before. And I was talking about them about this today. Like it even it goes as deep as to what you listening to. Music is mind control. Why are you listening to music that's promoting you being broke? You are putting your own self in a trap. You are you are a parasite to your own life. You know that? The music that y'all find lame, like back in the day, they had soul music. It went from soul music, you know what I'm saying? You know the old head, the old grandmas they used to be listening to the soul to everything to destroy you. You know that? So if you in the hood, bro, you got to understand. If you in the gang, all this different shit, and you you like listening to that shit, you know it's only one way out. 444, you know it's on, only one way out if you selling drugs or if you in the gang. Nobody makes it out of that, bro. And they got you looking up to these false idols that's made to destroy you. I told you, become your own idol. 
become your own, be, like literally you want to look at yourself or what you was a month from now. Become your own fucking idol, bro. Start literally motivating yourself. Like you're going to look at yourself from a month from now and you're going to see how far you came. You're going to start loving yourself. You're going to become your own motivation. But listen, if you constantly listening to that trash ass music that's promoting you being broke. Yeah, I'm broke. I'm in the hood. I'm stuck. I'm doing this. And you just listening to that. You programming yourself to stay in that situation. I know you see these rappers that's getting signed and they still rapping about the hood. That's the whole agenda. They don't even know. You do got some woke rappers that's, that be rapping about the hood shit, but they know once they get signed, it still was a trap. But if you in the hood listening to that, bro, you are literally becoming your own parasite. Literally. Number two, sex addicts. I used to be a sex I used to love, listen, it's 130 something plus days. I'm shining. I'm glossing it. Look at my eyes. My eyes pitch white. Just look at me. Facial hair. I'm shining. Oh, shit, I look like a snack. You know what I'm saying? But listen, sex addicts, all y'all got to understand, these females that you have a sex with, like I said, STD means sexually transmitting, I say transferring, transmitting demons. You got to understand on a spiritual level, you are giving away your superpowers. I always talk about the no fat, the semen retention shit, but you got to understand, it, even for the girls, you really have to understand, ladies, y'all got to start protecting y'all energy too. Dude, you could you could be on your purpose like me. Y'all could see me right now and a girl could come into my life that that's just no good. She could be the baddest girl y'all ever seen in my life, but she no good. She could literally drain all my energy in one day. Just by me having sex with her, being around her, the parasites that she's surrounded with, all this dark energy that came from other people, the other people she had sex with, all this shit. If she don't clear that stuff out, if she don't literally start doing inner work, that shit carries on throughout your life. So, say for instance, I'm all positive and I'm all motivating. Now I could be feeling all, like, tired all the time. You go from that to all tired and not really motivated to do nothing. You picking up their habits. So, you got to start watching who you fucking. Males and females. Y'all both got to start watching. Shit gets deep. Like I told you, it's a reason why they want you to watch porn. It's a reason why they push this shit. I was talking to them about this too. To the young niggas, y'all watch porn. It's a mind control. It's keeping you at a lower state of yourself so you could be vulnerable for these low level fucking dark energies. Understand that. It all happens in the spiritual realm first. Hope y'all know that. So like I said, you could be on top of your game and it, it could all fall down. Literally that fast. These parasites come, they want all your energy, all of it. So you got like you you gotta really understand that. And I used to be a fucking bro, listen. To this day, I still feel like, man, I still look at a lot of girls that I used to mess with, and I wouldn't even do nothing with them to this day. Like most like I told y'all, most of the girls that I had sex with in the past, I wouldn't even come, I wouldn't even go near them right now. This is who I am right now. I wouldn't even talk to them. I won't message them, won't reply to them. Do you know how much pussy I pass up, bro? Like, I ain't trying to brag, but, bro, you got females that want to catch flights just to sit and talk to me. It went from me having to literally fly girls out and have to, like, do the most, go to the club, pull it to I could sit still when it come to me. So I got to be, I got to keep my guards up, too. I got to watch these parasites, too, because these girls could, man, they could body snatch all my energy. You don't want to have that sexual mindset, man. Like, it comes a point in time I walk straight past girls. I don't even look at them. And I know that shit be fucking with them in their head. Like, damn, this nigga ain't even look at me. Like, girls be at the gym. I be working out and shit. I pay them no attention. I'm locked in, focusing on myself. And in their mind, they like, damn, this nigga ain't paying me no attention. Like, damn, I'm they start feeling insecure about themselves. Because they, they feed off your energy. They feed off that attention. Same for y'all females. It's the same thing. Like, you got to understand. Like, y'all really got to get out of that mind state. It's parasites everywhere. So... Sex addicts, man. If you if you hanging with niggas that always want to go fuck with some hoes, dude, you got to understand there's something manipulating them to think that. They in a low state. You don't want to be like that, bro. You want to you dead ass really do. Like, we all went through that stage when we all wanted the hoes. We wanted more than one. Go crazy. But, bro, it's going to come a point in time, bro, you want that one girl that can help you become the best version of yourself. That one fucking chosen girl is worth Billions, my nigga, of baddies. I'm telling you. They can't even compare. And I learned that. That's why I'm still single to this day. With so many options, yet I still haven't came across my chosen one.
So you got to understand that. Fucking, this is a crazy world, bro. But another thing, number three, freeloaders. A lot of us feel like, this is why I dropped videos in the past saying you don't need no friends. A lot of us feel like we got to do everything in our power to be that best friend. Some of y'all got to understand the company you keep around you, if they not on your level in life and you can see them not improving and they not helping you reach your dreams, they nothing but a freeloader. They're going to be leeching off of you. You got somebody that you always got to do. You always got to do this for that person. You got to maybe pay for this person to do this. You got to pay for this person to do this. Or you always got to go out your way for this friend. Bro, that's a freeloader. That's a parasite. That's the definition of a parasite. They are living off your energy. You can only go down. I talked about this for all the chosen ones. I talked about this before. When you fuck it with freeloading friends that never have money or nothing to do anything, but they always around you, you always find yourself paying for them and shit. You can only go down fucking with them. There is no evolving if you mess with somebody that's not improving themselves just like you. You are who you hang with, no matter what, no matter how, no matter how fucking popular you think you are, no matter how much clout money you have. You are who you hang with. You are who you, you, the company you keep around you, that's you. That is you. The company, the people that you hang with every single day, they still could be, you would think you woke right now, but you still hanging with these fucking third dimensional bodies. That is you. It's no way around it. Those are parasites that's feeding off your energy. No matter how much you like it or not. If you kept them away from you, if you start separating yourself from them, you'll have more energy to focus on your goals. You will be manifesting your goals a lot faster, too. They draining you. You don't even know that. That's what a freeloader is, a parasite. We all had to deal with them. Even family, parasites. Family become parasites. Bro, especially when you become, quote unquote, famous, every, it's like you don't exist no more, like my hoodie. When, when dude sent me my hoodie, bro, I'm not used to getting gifts. I'm not used to getting gifts. Gazer, gazer. I'm not used to getting gifts. That's why, bro, I still, I, bro, when I got that, bro, that's that shit. I, I love that. I'm not used to getting anything no more. People already think I'm straight. Like, I, like I just, it's like I don't exist no more. It's like people just ask me for stuff. They don't even try to help me no more. So when I got that, I was grateful for that, man. I was very grateful for that hoodie. Like, very grateful for that hoodie. Because I'm not used to people doing stuff for me now. My, my big sis still to this day, she still bought me something for Christmas. Hooked me up for my birthday. That's just who she is, my big sister. She she just like that. But far as that, nobody do nothing for me. So when, look, when I get little art, like when people draw little stuff for me, and I get little art from people and stuff. Like, let me show y'all. Like these, you know what I'm saying? All this was given to me, you know? And I still got a lot more I gotta put up here, but all this was given to me. Poster right there. Literally, got the PS4 on the floor. All that was given to me, I'm grateful for that shit. I love gifts, man. I gotta give me a PO box. If y'all wanna send me some gifts, I'm very, very grateful and thankful for it because I don't ask for anything. I don't expect anything, you know? So, that's another thing, man. You got to understand that. So, even family can become freeloaders, etc. Now, another thing. I think we're on number four. I don't know. People, that's talk, people that love talking about people. Like, you have to understand, if you hang it with somebody that loves talking about other people, and when I mean by talking about other people, they always focus on other people's problems. They always enter somebody else's business. They just run their mouth a lot. I mean, eventually they're going to start talking about you. They probably talk about you behind their back. But you got to understand, dude, you don't need that. That's a parasite. That's a parasite that's forever all in somebody else's business. They, 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 listen, a parasite, they dragging your, they dragging you, sucking you into somebody else's life, somebody else's toxic energy. That's a parasite. So if you got some friends who always talking about celebrity problems or they talking about this, they talking about that, they are sucking, they putting all this shit in your mind, they sucking you in into somebody else's problems. You got to deal with your own shit. 
Yet you got a friend that always talking about somebody they oh they nosy. Like, dude, you know what I'm talking about. Those are parasites too. Somebody that's always talking about somebody else's problems. We don't give a fuck about what they got going on with their life. I'm where I'm focused on me. But this particular friend, dude. You get what I'm saying? That's another parasite. That's a parasite that's sucking your energy. They using your energy, dragging you into some bullshit you have nothing to do with. That's another fucking parasite. Get that away from you. If you got a friend that run their mouth, instead of them talking about positive things and how y'all could better your life and being in a moment and just enjoying life, they always talking about somebody else's problems. Think about that. That's a parasite. They keep you at a low frequency. They keep you at a low vibration. That's another parasite. Males and females. If you got a boyfriend or anybody, it don't, a girlfriend, if they constantly talking about somebody else's shit, somebody else's situation, somebody else's problems, how can you even focus on your dreams, your goals? How can you even stay focused on yourself? This whole point of becoming the best version of yourself is focusing on yourself and paying attention to how you feel. Yet, this motherfucking parasite is always talking about how everybody else feel. What everybody else going through. That's a parasite. Keep Get them away from you. Number five, troublemakers. We all have people around us. You, you go out. Well, I don't go out no more. And I hang by myself. Eventually, I'm. y'all got to understand, y'all seeing this stage, this process with me right now. Eventually, I'm going to start. Y'all going to see new people around me throughout my journey that I trust that's just like me. I might start traveling with little people. I don't plan on drinking no more. I just can't do it. I haven't had no wine in. I don't even know. And I never really drunk liquor, but I haven't had no wine in so long, dude. Like probably like six months, seven months, like just sipping wine. And it, it gave me the most, I felt like I had severe third eye headaches, bro. Literally. But troublemakers, somebody that always into some shit. You take them, you go out, they arguing. They always arguing with somebody. They always got some. That's, that's kind of like the same thing as somebody that's always focused on somebody else's shit. But troublemakers. Dude, people, you know how many people that died for trying to break up a fight for somebody else's problems? You may know some people that died. They, you got to stay away from troublemakers, man. I used to be a troublemaker. I used to always talk a lot of shit. I, I, want, I used to want all the smoke. Not necessarily like going out, starting fights and stuff, but just on YouTube, I used to always, I used to talk a lot of shit. I used to live for the smoke. I wanted all the smoke. I wanted all the drama. I wanted all the blame. Now, I just want all the blame. I want people to talk about me because I, I just steal their energy and put it towards something positive for my channel. But I don't start shit no more. I'm just more, more so focused on helping people. And basically, kind of, you could say, I do talk shit about this matrix a lot. But far as people in general, I don't talk about nobody. I don't care. I don't care what other people got going on in their life. I just don't care. But troublemakers, man. A lot of people lost their life trying to break up a fight or break up some shit that they didn't have nothing to do with. They end up getting shot in the club or shot in... Just, it's just sad. But you got to stay away from troublemakers. Those are parasites. They are dragging you into getting, dragging you into, getting into a situation you're going to regret for the rest of your life. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time for them too. Troublemakers, they all got to go through something in order for them to really ground themselves and stop being what they are. Some people naturally just are... They just naturally is just, I ain't going to call them demons, but it runs throughout their bloodline. You got to understand this shit was passed on to them. Some people like got trauma throughout their life. Some people just been through a lot and you don't know that, but it's not your job to baby them. Like, I don't know what you've been through in your life, but you got to understand you got to put that inner work in. I'm not going, I'm not finna lose my life because of you. And and this is like people that 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 that's just always getting into fights, always getting locked up. They get out of jail, they get locked up again. These people are just naturally trouble. They just always in trouble. So troublemakers. This is something that I was talking about to the young niggas too. I was just talking to them, just talking. Troublemakers. And the last one, emotional wreck. I had to deal with this shit on my YouTube. I ain't trying to say no hate to my ex. She was an emotional wreck because she went through a lot. 
before her in her prior relationship and she brought it all on I had to deal with it. And it destroyed me. It's one of the main reasons why I went through a spiritual awakening as well. I was having a lot of depressed days. For all my day ones that's watching this video on my main channel, that's from my main channel, y'all know what time it is, man. I was taking breaks away from YouTube but shit. I just couldn't focus because I always have to deal with some emotional shit. And it started, that, that, the parasites, that energy start taking a toll on me. I start smoking weed, just trying to, you know, when you smoke weed, you, you, you hiding away from your problems. And then when you stop smoking, them same problems hit your ass 10 times harder. You got to deal with that shit. But emotional wrecks is the worst. Because no matter how much you talk to them to make them feel better, they draining your energy. They using your energy to pick themselves up and they always going to go back down to that emotional wreck state. Words can't help them. They got to put that inner work in. They got to start literally learning how to deal with that shit, learning how to meditate, understanding that they can overcome that shit. Troublemakers, emotional wrecks, sex addicts, freeloaders, hood music, all of this shit. You have to understand if you're dealing with any of this stuff, you have all this stuff around you right now. It's stopping from you from manifesting your best life. Them littlest things you don't even know. You don't even know that's how it work. If you took that shit away from your life, if you start putting that shit to the side, and this is coming from somebody who been through it all. I got a peaceful life now. Like, I'm not going to be alone for long. But like, like I told y'all, I'm a lone wolf because I was born to stand out. I need to figure out what was doing this to me. I was lost in the sauce. You know, the more money you make, the more you're going to get lost because you got all this money. You're just destroying yourself. You're not paying attention to how you feel. You're doing drugs to, 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 to numb it temporary. You're going all around the country. You're trying to hide from the way you can't hide from the way you feel. And the number one people that would be literally the number one fucking battle that we have to go against is the people we keep around us. Anyway. I know this video was all over the place, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Parasites. Keep them away from you. They everywhere. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I love y'all. Start taking care of y'all. So start trying to start, start literally. I, I, I would say start. Just pay attention to how you feel when you're around certain people. Just that's all you got to do. Pay attention to how you feel when you're around certain people. See what happens if you if you stop going out. With this particular person. See how they start acting. Are they going to start calling you fake? All this different shit. They was never a friend in the first place. You start seeing true colors once you become woke. They was never your friend in the first place. They was using your energy to benefit them. You don't need no friends. Anyway. I love y'all man. Take care of yourself man. Spiritual soul signing out man.